Hey, but what about the BMF? I'm interested Max in that and too. You're not really interested in that one? I am interested oh. in that. You know why I'm interested in that? Because people are counting Max out. I'm not. I think Max might win. Max won and, my and favorite. People, Bro, people Max will... has had a lot of times to pre- a lot of time to prepare. Justin's a two thirty favorite. Listen, I would not take that. Can I just say that they were they're basing a lot of that shit on his fight versus Dustin Poirier. Right. And if you hear Max That's talk my about it, too. if you hear Max mm-hmm. talk about it, he had only six weeks to prepare for that thing. Right. And he he was doing this for like ten or so weeks and. I don't know, man. Max is an intelligent guy. I was there. We were there live when he fought Calvin Cater. Yeah. Yeah. And he's looking away. Yeah. I'm the best boxer. And he moves yeah. his head and he fucking hits it. Yeah. And you, hey, you remember what Dana was doing? Dana was like, somebody needs to stop this. Dana yeah. was like scared they, for Calvin I mean, Cater's life. Yeah. could have stopped. But yeah. bro, he put a real beating on Calvin that it, yeah. t- it took, perhaps takes a long time to recover from. I mean, mm. the amount of punches that he landed on Calvin were insane. <sighs> My my thing with the Dustin and Max fight was I thought Dustin just physically bullied him around the ring like he it looked Dustin's like there a was a strength advantage there too. and I think that's going to be a problem if if that if my perception's right then that would be a problem because I think Justin's stronger and more of a bully and his leg kicks which Max never seems to check is uh, I think his leg kicks could present a problem. Like that could Max be a real a problem. Because he had a problem with that with Volkanovski. Yeah. And the thing about Gaethje is, Gaethje lands them in the clinch. Yeah, that's he can be standing like... It's insane. Right next to I know. His, yeah, his distance his flexibility that? is insane. It's insane. This was a such a beating. This was a beating, man. This was wild, man. This was wild live because it was... It was during the uh, and COVID Calvin thing. Cater. Yeah, I mean, he's a fucking dangerous dude. He's got real good boxing, yeah, he does. and he just couldn't touch Max. Oh, I see a single for Aljo. Yeah, look at that leg. Dude, yeah, <laughs> I told you, old Binky Jones tapped Cater back in the day. Yeah, that Kater. was his first loss. I'm Binky very, Jones. Yeah, one of my one of my guys, James Binky Jones. One of the reasons why I'm interested in this is because I think Max is going to go into this fight with a tremendous amount of anticipation. Yeah. This is not a fight that you you don't get real scared about. Mm-hmm. This is this is yeah. a fight you got to really fucking prepare. And when Max gets pushed, you see the best Max. He's still what is he 33? Yeah. He's one of my yeah, he's favorites. Young. Yeah, Max yeah, he's is young. Not he's not out old of his prime. Well, he started as what 19. We we really kind of put aside when a guy loses the title that maybe they're not as good as they used to be. But Max keeps getting better. Not to mention his nuts. I mean, let's think about when he was going to fight Habib on 24 hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hours yeah. notice or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. Ally he's Quick one ended of my favorite guys, up, but, without uh, a doubt. One of my favorite fighters. Uh, that's oh, he's, a, he's a beast, and he's a sweetheart of a guy. Good like, Yeah, right? Nicest Real guys. Good. Yeah, no doubt. Nicest guys. And he talked openly about like why guys like Connor, why those guys gas out. Guys like Aldo. He goes, like, they got too much power, man. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, like, they don't have that kind of power. Hey, did you see Roadhouse? I did not see Roadhouse. Is it I, good? I seen Roadhouse.